Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Um, I think I haven't done a tutorial for almost like nine days or ten. I don't know, but it's been a while. It really feels like it's been a while. <laughs> so today, yes, I'm back. So I decided to paint something new um, to me and to you, probably at least um, for my channel's uh purposes it's kind of new so i decided to paint a cup of tea <laughs> all right so i'm gonna make or i'm gonna do my best to make it as realistic as possible and we'll be doing or we'll be using colors under the shade of reds so yes let's begin now let me tell you first the colors that i'll be using for today's painting okay we have <laughs> we have black titanium white burnt sienna of course red um cad yellow and orange that's it that's basically it and let's begin now so i've already sketched the subject uh as you can see now if you want to trace it you can do that but i really you know guys i really don't want you to to just trace the subject i i want you to to learn how to draw to draw freehand because um, although sketching or drawing is different from painting, um, for me, learning is more important than, you know, just doing it. You know, I think just being able to do a thing, I think learning how to do a thing, a practice, not just for painting, is more important than um, just being able to do it. Because there's no sense of accomplishment in that this is just my opinion and i value my opinion <laughs> so yes thanks for listening guys let's begin now let's underpaint first the subject and i'll be using i'll be using what okay i'm gonna use brownie color first because we'll be painting a cup of tea up uh, that tea <laughs> a cup of tea <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use my brownie color. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black. So it's like dark brown. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna shade this part. Like that. All right. Okay. Okay, and then continue. I'm gonna use my red. I think you have to be quite fast in this one because we'll be blending a lot. All right, and then, okay guys, just to be fast, I'll be using dark brown and then red alternately. So when I say I'm using dark brown, it means it's a combination of burnt sienna plus a little bit of black and then I'll be returning to red because the paints, the paints dry quite fast. So I really just, you know, I really just can't show you how I mix the colors and then go back to it so that I blend well. So when I say again, dark brown, it means burnt sienna plus black. And when I say red, just plain red, you know, trying to blend everything together. So now I'm using dark brown. dark brown still all right dark brown still all right I'm gonna use my red color This is the underpainting, but uh, we actually need to be fast, right? I mean, at this point or at this stage of the painting, because we don't want um, any hard lines to be showing because we're painting water. This is tea, so yeah, it's liquid. All right. And then I'm going to add some tiny bit of orange, all right, here at the bottom. I'm not really washing my brush, 
but I really want that orange to be there to suggest some light colors. Uh, no, not light colors, but to suggest um, the presence of light. Right, like that. Right, I'm going to switch to my reds. So get your red. So it's like brown, red, and orange. Like that. Then I'm going to add a tiny bit of burnt sienna plus black. The dark brown mixture that we had. Okay, remember guys that you have to be quite fast when you do this. But, you know, don't panic too much because, again, this is just paint. Be the master of your own painting. Alright, we're going to add more black this side or this side of the, the canvas. I'm using canvas paper. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, I'm just gonna make this blended, I mean, well blended. So I'm using brush and my fingers to blend it well. All right, wash your brush out. Okay, so. All right, that's cool. Okay, this, the water part, the inside part, we're going to be using, all right, get your white, add brown, like that. Add a tiny bit of black just to tone it down. Okay, maybe add a little more brown and then black, like this. Tiny bit of, okay, this color. So it's like um, muted brown, almost like brownish gray, but really muted. So, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna color it this color. this area all right like that this is the underpainting of the inside of the waters or inside of the glass or the cup not glass all right okay wash your brush out now okay Hmm. I think doing the background will give us um, more definition of the glass. So let's do first the background. You could have done you could have done this before we sketch the subject, but I chose not to because I really want to see my subject first. That's why I sketch it first without doing the background. So I'm gonna use a more white brush so that I can do the background. So you can do that too. Or if you want to stop, you can simply paint over it and just do the sketching again so that it won't give you a hard time. But for the background, I'm going to use my cat yellow plus brown or burnt sienna. Add a tiny bit of black. Oh, that's a lot of black. That's a lot of black. All right, I'm going to add white to it, to it. So it's like this color. And let's start doing the background now.
Right. So I'll be using some dark browns and light browns for the background. You can choose another color, whatever you want. I'm just, you know, I'm just doing my own thing here. can use burnt sienna. I'm actually just mixing everything. You can use simply gray, you know, just gray and that's it. But I have to be very careful in painting over the sketch because I really want a more structured painting today. It's a cup, so it cannot be all wobbly and deformed. All right, up to this point. I'm gonna wet my brush so that it can flow smoothly inside this area. All right. This is just the background, but it will give us um, the idea of the or the mood. It will give us the mood as well of the painting. All right, I'm gonna use this color to darken this area. I'm gonna use more black, All right? Because it is a glass, so you can see um, what's on the other side. can simply paint over it but um, we're doing a tutorial so I don't want to waste your time and my time by painting over it and redoing it later Just going to suggest some transparency or transparent transparency yeah <laughs> all right i'm gonna add white so that it becomes a little um blurry call that here because the handle is also glass so you can see the other side from the handle okay I'm just trying to make it more um, structured all right for the table I'm going to use some gray color. So get your white and black. Okay, add more white. It's quite dark. And then start painting. So the table will be slightly slanted or slanting because we don't want it to be on top of a straight table. It's like the angle, um, you know, it's like you're looking at the object from a different angle. So yeah, I hope you, I hope that makes sense guys. All right, so I'm just um, gonna do the background of the table, this color, and we'll do some, dim or we'll add some dimensions later. For now, it's going to be like this. You don't have to worry too much about the background, but we will correct the background later. We're just trying to give it already that 
sense of light, mood, and location. Alright, I'm gonna, okay, continue up to here. We're gonna darken some areas later. Again, to add some shadows, dimension, and um, light. Okay, like that. We forgot something, and that is the inside. Right. Okay, so wash your brush out now. Wash your brush out. Okay, now let's do the bottom portion. Let's go back to the brown and yellow color mixture. So get your burnt sienna, add a tiny bit of cad yellow, add white. To get this color and then mm, again add brown tiny bit of black all right like this and we're going to color the bottom portion of the cup like that I'm gonna um, water down my paint a bit just to add more colors here all right I'm gonna get my black I'm gonna add black to that browny yellowy color Here as well. So again, just get your black color and just define the bottom of our cup. I'm going to use a more pointy brush so that we can define the cup even better. I'm going to get my black. Okay, I'm just going to define the cup because it seems like um, being pasted on a wall or something. Okay, all right, I'm gonna use this black, no, not black. I'm gonna get, um, okay, not black. <laughs> Wash your brush out now. We're gonna do more shadows later, okay. So I'm gonna get my, okay, I ran, a, I ran out of white already. I'm gonna get my white. gonna get my white now and I'm gonna 
define the mouth of the cup. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on top, but okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black because I want it kind of grayish. Okay, so we're just gonna use some gray color here that we already have. wash your brush just get your black and make some more um, detailing here on the mouth of the cup okay get your black Again, get your black and define that mouth. Just go along the uh, along that um, line. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna darken some areas. Here as well. Here. Like that. Okay, so I'm just applying some gray color there. I'm gonna make some gray plus brown, gray plus browny color. Okay, actually, more black. It's like black and brown. Yeah, okay. Not too black, just brown. Like that. All right. Okay, wash your brush out. We're going to make some gray color. Okay, just get your gray color. And just color those areas gray. The empty spaces that you see, just color it gray. This will serve as an under underpainting because we'll be painting something over it later. But we just want to make sure that it's fully covered. That there are no, you know, empty spaces in there. Right. Okay. okay, I'm going to use more brown this time. And I'm just going to underpaint this area. Oops. All right, like that. Okay, again, get your gray color and just underpaint this area with gray. Just 
just cover those empty spaces that you see all right like that okay i'm gonna use this gray color to apply it on some to some areas okay so i'm gonna use that gray color here glazing it like that okay i'm gonna add more white to that gray color here actually more white like that and here more white here All right i'm gonna water it down and then i'm gonna apply it here like that and also here it's like dry brushing or glazing all right like that here as well okay all right get your pure white now and apply something down here we did not underpaint this area but i don't really find it necessary just use your white to cover that space all right okay i'm gonna use more white this area Pure white, guys, pure white, to suggest um, light. Okay. Here as well. All right. I'm going to use the same white color to highlight this part of the glass. Wait, that's too much. Okay, but I'm not gonna do any hard lines because that is that's gonna look weird. So just make it like very um, light in application. Also here, add a white like that. Right. And here, I'm going to make some white markings. Here as well. It's white. Like that. Get some more white here. All right, and then make some more white here. Okay, again, make this a little um, brighter. White. We haven't done the shadows yet, but we will. We'll do that. All right, let's go back to the water. All right. Like that. Here. Just apply the paints quite not you know you don't need generous amount of paints when we're painting liquid or water 
or in this case, you know, a cup of tea. That is to suggest um, flowiness. Okay, so you can see how I apply my paint. It's usually watered down. Okay. All right. Okay. It's not yet done and it's it really looks like flat right now. Because as I told you, we haven't added the shadows. So get your black now. I might change the table. I'm going to make it a little vertical, like straight vertical. So we're just going to make some shadows by using black. gonna get my red color get your red and then apply it here you can add a tiny bit of orange to your red or even yellow and orange down here okay now get your red water it down and just kind of mix it with the black okay i'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow in the um, reflections because the table on which this cup of tea is placed quite um glossy uh glossy i mean gonna get more red like that all right okay I'm gonna wash my brush out okay I'm gonna get my orange sorry guys red plus brown and black We're just fixing the the water part again more black we're making it more straight than curvy We're just going to fix this. Oh. <laughs> We're going to fix that one. I'm going to get my white and red. I mean, white and brown. Okay, I'm just going to fix, fix that part because it's quite weird. Okay, I'm going to add a tiny bit of yellow. Just a hint of yellow up there. Paint so wet. That's why you can actually see, like, um, the smears. But it's okay. <laughs> right.
Okay, what should we try? I'm gonna make some yellow orange. Get your yellow and orange. And we're going down. Here. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white so that it's more visible. Okay, get your orange now. So because my hand is quite shaky. Alright, what's your brush out? I'm gonna get my black and red. So black and red. Like that. Just to suggest more fluidity. Okay, we're gonna define the handle now. Okay. I'm just using black to define it. Just to separate it from the background. Okay, what's your brush out? Now I'm gonna get my pure white. Pure white, guys. Let's go back to this area. Alright, like that. Make it quite light because of the light. Because of the light, that's why. Okay. Here as well. And here as well. So we're going to use um, light effect. Okay. I'm going to use my fingers just to apply that. All right. I'm going to use watered down white to just well, um, lighten this area because of the light play. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of red. Right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get some gray color, dark gray, and we're going to remove the, you know, that hard line that separates the table from the wall. So it becomes a little more like blurry, not too much. Like it's there, but it's not the main focus. So we were go we are going to avoid that hard lines that should not be there.
Again, some gray color. Removing the hard lines, but still showing that it's there. You know that? Okay, I'm gonna darken this area. Again, this area. That. I kind of like the that rustic feel. All right. And we're gonna use the same color just to make things like blend, like a one picture, like one picture. All right. Wash your brush out or get another brush. I'm gonna get my white and I'm gonna go back to highlighting it. I'm gonna get my orange and yellow and white. I'm gonna apply some of that colors here, but very thinly, just to suggest that it's there. Not too much, but to suggest some light in this cup. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna darken the handle. And I'm gonna make this a little blurry, guys. We have a lot of steps today. <laughs> I'm gonna get my white, but it's like I'm dry dry brushing. So I'm just gonna I don't know if this is gonna work. It's like glazing it like that here as well just glaze it because it's hot like this is a hot tea so there's some va vapor and all that Again, more white. Here, there will be some bright areas. Right. 
we can actually correct this area so Just trying to mix, make some more little corrections, right? Like that. Okay, I'm gonna darken the shadows, All right? Okay, get your black. Black. Okay, again, black. I'm gonna get my black plus brown. Maybe add a little bit of red. And let's just go back to some areas. black I'm gonna darken this all right like that okay I'm gonna get more of my red and just make sure that it's kind of well blended all right like that okay i'm gonna get my orange just blend all right like that Okay, wash your brush out. All right, and it looks like nice. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get more white because I already ran out. Pure white, just pure white, and I'm gonna make some highlights here, down here where the light is hitting okay and i'm gonna make this quite bright some some areas bright all right i'm gonna dry brush to make the smoke but we're going to use this white tiny bit of brown and tiny bit of yellow then white all right so add more white it's like this so brown yellow plus white and make sure that uh it's dry because we're gonna dry brush and just create that actually this might be a little too much but we're creating some vapor is that vapor 
Yeah, it suggests that it's a hot tea. Okay, I'm gonna add brown, burnt sienna, like that. I'm gonna add water to make it more like flowy, flowy looking. <laughs> Just darken that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna add black or get your black, and we're gonna suggest some dark areas here. Just tap. You can water it down because we really don't want that cartoonish, um, like flat. You don't want that. Okay, we can actually fix this part. Get your red, red plus black. I want to fix it. Okay. All right. Wash your brush out now. Okay, I have to gray, make this a little gray. Get your black. I'm just gonna gray this area. Get your black here as well. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my orange. Make some um, broken lines here. Okay, like that. All right. Wash your brush out. Okay, get your black. I'm just gonna correct something. I'm gonna extend this um, handle portion down here. Like that. Okay, wash your brush out. Get your pure white. Okay, pure white. Right, get your gray color now. Gray, make this a little dark. Okay, and then black. Like 
Okay. Black. Pure black. Alright, wash your brush out. I'm gonna make this quite dark. I'm gonna glaze. Yeah, we don't want any like too yellow here. Muted yellow, but not too yellow. Okay. Get your pure white. Make it a little yellow. It's like the center part is the brightest part. All others, um, as you come in, all others should be brighter. But as you go out, quite darker. I hope that makes sense, guys. Make it quite dark. Okay, I'm gonna make more muted yellow. So it's like yellow plus black. It's almost like green. Okay, okay wash your brush out. Okay, we can fix this. gonna get more orange I already ran out Like that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get my black. It's like we can do this forever, I think. Right. Okay, wash your brush out and I'm gonna make some gray applications. So get some gray. And, um, it's quite challenging. But it's also 
fun for me because you know it's not all the time that I do this kind of stuff so I kind of like it the feeling of uh, we don't know what's gonna happen okay I'm gonna get my black just to fix that Alright, I'm going to darken some areas. Alright, like that. Okay, I'm going to get my brown plus yellow. Uh, just add more drama behind <laughs> or to the background. Okay, I'm gonna get my black now. If you have a more pointy brush, I suggest you do that in defining the mouth. Almost done. Get your pure white. more detailing all right I'm gonna make some more smoky effect right, like that What? Here. Wow, that's nice. Oh my God, that's so nice. Yay, hey, I think we're done, guys. We're done. Okay, <laughs> what do you think? So I, I think I just have to make it a little slanting. So I'm gonna cut it. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna use, yeah, I really like this. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a little more slanting so that it follows this direction. Okay. Just tiny bit, right, and pull outwards. Like nothing happened. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
You can add some shades of gray here and there, but make sure that there's still some suggestion of light. Okay, wash your brush out now. Okay, you can actually add more drama to that. I'm just gonna make some areas quite dark. Because we don't want that super flat looking handle. Like that. All right. Oh my gosh. This is so good. So good. So good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Wash your brush out. <laughs> Wash your brush out. I think I'm going to have to lower this down. So again, we're just fixing things. I'm ha I have to lower it a bit. Just a bit. Okay. Like that. Put your white. White and yellow. Get your orange color. Okay. I'm gonna get the orange color. I'm gonna water down and glaze the middle part very quickly, like rapidly glazing it. Oops. Did you see that? I smeared some white thing. All right, like that. Of course, let's fix that. Okay. Gosh, I love this. I love it. Guys, I love it. So I think we're done, right? We're done. So I'm gonna sign it now. I'm gonna sign it now. <laughs> I'm gonna use what? What color? I'm gonna use my black since I have a lot of it here. Oops, Ooh, quite watery. Okay, yay, hey, yay, yay, hey. Finally. Okay, I think I'm gonna add something. <laughs> Guys, you know me. I'm gonna add something. I'm gonna gray some areas down here. Maybe inside as well. Okay, the sun is shining now because I'm painting in front of my window. And I'm gonna dry brush some white here. Like that. All right. <laughs> So I'm just adding some details that feel like should be there. Right. Gosh, the light is like 
hitting my um, beeper. <laughs> Okay, I think this is good. I can't stop. Oh, it's so bright. I mean, the sun. The sun is shining. Earlier it was cloudy and now it's shining. Okay, so I think we're done, guys. We're done, guys. Yay, hey. Yay, me, yay, hey. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. And of course, guys, wait. Mm -hmm.